It's President's Day here in the U.S., and I'm getting ready to head out to Albemarle, North Carolina to meet David. We're going to have some lunch at Five Points Public House, and then we're going to ride up to a really cool place called Morrow Mountain. I'll video on the way up to Morrow Mountain. What up? Jim here. This is J Street Moto. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel if it's your first time. It's President's Day here in the United States. And because of that, the banks and the Federal Reserve are closed. That means I'm off. So we had a chance to go ride. And it's a beautiful freaking day. It's like 50 degrees here today. We just left Five Points Pub in Albemarle, North Carolina. Great place. I highly recommend it. I had a sloppy joe that was covered in queso and jalapenos. It was damn delicious. They've also got a really, really good urban selection. Just saying, if you're ever in Albemarle, you should check them out. We decided to leave from there, and we're going to head up to this place called Mar Morrow Mountain. Uh, for those that aren't familiar with the Charlotte, North Carolina area, Albemarle and Morrow Mountain are both kind of northeast of, this way, of downtown Charlotte. And Morrow Mountain's a cool little place because you can go into the park and literally want, ride this snaking road all the way to the top of the mountain. And once you get there, you can see like two or three of the man-made lakes that exist around the Charlotte, North Carolina area. We've got several of them. I'm going to try and name them all right now. If I miss any, I will put them in the, uh, I'll, you know, write up which ones I miss in the video here. So the biggest by far, Lake Norman, by far, largest lake that is around the Charlotte, North Carolina area. And there's also Mountain Island Lake, Lake Tillery, High Rock Lake, and I want to say that's all of them. I don't think I've missed any, but if I did, like I said, I'll, I'll put the comment up here. But Morrow Mountain is one of those places where you can go and get up kind of high, and at the top of it, there's a lookout. There's a little rest area, place to picnic, place to use the bathroom, all that kind of stuff. And you can see, for sure, you can see High Rock Lake and Tillery from there. So you can see two of those four lakes from the top of that mountain. And it's fun getting to the top of it. So it's one of those places we like to go from time to time just because. What's really cool about Morrow Mountain, and if you're ever in this area, I highly recommend the ride to go up there. What's really cool is Morrow Mountain is like a destination for motorcyclists as well as car enthusiasts. So it is not uncommon to get to the top of Morrow Mountain and see a Model T Ford ride up into that parking lot to hit that picnic area and rest area. It's also not uncommon to see a Lamborghini or another, you know, like supercar. Plus you're going to see a lot of motorcyclists. For sure you will see a lot of motorcyclists. But yeah, it's one of those destinations that's around here. So we figured, beautiful day, not a cloud in the sky. It's 50 some degrees, 52, maybe 53. Might as well ride up there and, uh, you know, burn a tank of gas. On that note, I hope you guys are getting out and riding. I really do. I'm blessed to live in a place that uh, I can pretty much ride year-round. What's up, dudes? How are you? I guess that was a dude and a dudette. She was on her own bike. I'm blessed to live in a place where we can, where we can ride year-round pretty much without having to worry about it. Because it really doesn't get that cold here. So if you don't live in an area like that, I feel for you. I really do. And I hope that if you're not getting out riding because the weather just isn't cooperative, 
If you're not able to get out and ride, I hope that you're at least planning some long distance trips. That's honestly what I'm hoping you're doing. We are. We were talking about what we were going to do today. Usually when we're on a trip, we're already planning the next one. Our first trip this year, if you haven't been watching any of the channel or any of the other videos, our first trip this year is going to be to the Bourbon Trail in Kentucky. For my birthday, David and his wife got me VIP passes to see Kid Rock, Jason Aldean, and uh, some other guys. They're doing like a weekend uh, long music festival. They got me VIP passes to see that music festival in Ashland, Kentucky. So, we are going to go up, and that happens on the weekend of my birthday. Like the Tuesday before, we're going to head out to Kentucky on the bikes, and we're going to do the bourbon trail. And then end up, after we do the bourbon trail, we're going to haul over to Ashland, Kentucky, spend the weekend at that music festival, and then come home. That'll be the first trip this year. We haven't really figured out what we're doing for the others. So I thought I would record the ride from Five Points up to Morrow Mountain. I'll let you guys enjoy it. I mean, really, how many people live in a place that, in the middle of damn February, it's 50-some degrees and sunny? I wish you lived there. I really do. That's one of the things that makes it so easy to put as many miles as I do on this bike every year. The fact that pretty much, I don't have a riding season. I can ride year round. So we are getting into Morrow Mountain now, for sure. I'd be interested to know, because I don't know where any of you are from that are watching this right now. I really don't. And in all honesty, about Shit, I think it's the last time I looked at it, about 85% of the people that watch my videos aren't subscribed to the channel. Maybe even more than that. It might be like 95% of the people aren't subscribed to my channel. I'd be willing to know where are you from? And what, like, really cool local ride exists where you're at? Because we do, if you've watched anything on this channel, you will know, we travel a lot on our bikes. So I would be interested to know, just in case I'm ever in your area, where is a cool place for me to ride? Where is a cool place for me to ride near you? Drop that down in the comments and tell me. And let me know why you like it. That's even a better kind of question. I try to share with you the places that we ride out around here, just in case you're ever in this way, ever out this way. Plain and simple. Now, on the way to Morrow Mountain, there is a major switchback that happens on this road. There, there really is. It's one of those that, uh, it's fun. Yeah, kind of let me know where it is that you, what are the, what are the lo good local destinations around where you're at? And I don't care if it's food related, I don't care if it's beverage related and I don't care if it's you know scenic related I'd like to you know I'm trying to make a list of places for us to go see you do have to be careful when you come up to Morrow Mountain because it is horse friendly and you might run into someone on an older kind of steed as this two-lane life likes to say, these motorcycles are like our uh, horses. They are. You're going to run into some real horses on Morrow Mountain. Most of the time, you will. I'll show y'all what it looks like at the top because that's really where the beauty is. Although, the road up there is a lot of fucking fun. I ain't gonna kid you. 
you are in a state park, so I would be careful about at least trying to maintain the speed limit. It's a 25 mile an hour road, and we are currently running about average 30 miles an hour, I guess is a good. So we go a few miles over the speed limit, but we're not like killing it. We're just out to, you know, chill today. And here is that U-turn I was telling you about, or that switchback that I was telling you about. Now, if you watched last Tuesday's video, that switchback I just went through is about the same kind of switchback I went through when I was telling you a story about how I ended up, almost ended up, as the hood ornament on the front of a Peterbilt tractor trailer. Um, the only difference was you could not see around the corner because there was a big rock wall on the left-hand side. It was completely blind, but that was how tight the turn was. And when I came around that turn, I was looking at a tractor trailer that was in my lane, going downhill with a full load. Go back and watch that video. It's probably the one that's gonna be linked at the end of this if, you, if you're watching this when it's new. But it's the video that I titled, uh, I think, why we need to go to parking lots and practice. I think it's what that video is called. And here we are, the top of Morrow Mountain. We can get some other bikers up here, which is always the case. There are always motorcycles up here. I've never come up and not seen one. Ready? One, two, three, shoot. Ah. Asshole. Really? <laughs> Peace out, bitches! <laughs>